lovely show of sportsmanship. Nice touch there as we settle into this one. Once more, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is an amateur featherweight bout to be fought under unified amateur rules under the watchful eye of your referee, Nico Joker. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he enters the cage with a record of two victories and three defeats, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting right out of Team Cowbon, James Slaver! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he enters the cage with a record of three victories and four defeats, weighing in at 147 pounds, and proudly representing Apex MMA, Alistair Fitzharris! Well, both guys in phenomenal shape as well, and also have names that sound like they could be medieval warriors, Brian. <laughs> They're gonna get this started here, featherweight <laughs> division. James Slavin in the blue, bl blue corner, excuse me, white shorts. Alistair Fitzharris, red corner, black shorts. Yeah, it gets me a little upset. I don't think Brian Lacey is a medieval name. Oh, you're I, all right, I, Brian. I would not have survived well in those times. You're all right, yeah, think. my name's, you know, my name does sound <laughs> great, I Brian. Strong start for both men, nice low kicks coming out. Switch stance there into the side kick. Nice work from Fitzharris, showing a diverse game on the outside, reaching a little with that right hand, but it let him close the distance, tries that single, nothing yeah. doing so far. That was what the right hand was for, but what he's doing is showing lots of different looks, and now his opponent is thinking nice. about different. Ooh. Oh, nice, that connected. Oh, 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 he got connect, came oh, in there again. Big right hook there, Woo. drops him. Swarming on top now is James Slayman looking for the is finish. it. Wow. Oh. James, what a fight there. What a finish for Slaven on top of the cage. The man is revved up from that one, Brian. A little bit of complaints here in the corner, no, though. It was, it was an absolute legitimate start there from Nico Joker. And Slaven was dealing with some issues himself. The right hand, the left hand. You can see he's got some blood on his uh, left eye there from Alistair Fitzharris. But my goodness, once he connected and it was as Slaven was getting a little greedy with his work, mm. the right hand connected, stunned him up a little bit, and then Fitzharris... Sorry, Slavin able to get that finish. A phenomenal, phenomenal performance. Yeah, Fitzharris was, was throwing the right hand, level, like faking the level change, coming back up, going right, and then putting the left hook on the end of it. And then he got caught in that exchange, went to a knee. Slavin turned around, came back, dropped the right hook on him. And that was all she wrote. We'll probably see it again here on the replay. We can talk you through this, but a great finish. And clearly a happy man there. A happy man there, Mr. Slavin. He wants a free T-shirt. Get this, <laughs> get this Irishman a T-shirt. Come on. <laughs> what a finish, though. And again, he was under pressure. He'd been caught himself. He'd been sort of not, I wouldn't say rocked, but certainly stiffened a little by some of the shots coming in. And then he reacted perfectly. And on the counter, turned the tide and got the finish. Yeah, yeah. But probably felt challenged, and therefore the victory. Ladies all the and sweeter. gentlemen. 37 seconds into round one. Your winner by TKO in the blue corner, James Slavin! 37 seconds for James Slavin. They're moving to three and four at amateur but got into a little bit of a trade, a little back and forth war, stayed strong, and now has more confidence in that right hand, I bet, Brian. Oh, my goodness. And, you, uh, for, and his chin, he should have confidence. Yes. He took a couple of stiff shots, reacted brilliantly. The right hand was the turn of the tide, and then got that finish. Brilliant stuff. Look at that happy team as well. Yeah. 